What's up guys, how are you doing today? In the previous video, we built the React application of our project and we are quite happy with it because it works and it's also mobile responsive. Today, we are going to put this application live on the internet so that other people can use it as well. So let's do this. To deploy our application on the internet, I'm gonna use Netlify, which is a great service to deploy web applications, static web applications, such as Gatsby React applications or Vue applications. As a matter of fact, I'm using Netlify to build and host my website. And it is a very nice alternative because once I push a new code, uh, this triggers automatically a new build for it and I can preview the result instantaneously. So we'll see how to do this on our application. Before deploying our application, we'll need to create a new account. It's very easy. You will have, you'll have to go and create an account directly on Netlify. It's free. And then you'll have to install the Netlify client on your machine. So basically, you'll have to run this command and that's it. So now let's deploy our application directly into Netlify and then provide a new name for it. So I'm going to build my application first before deploying it. The, for this, there is a simple command that you'll have to run. It's yarn build. This may take a few seconds to run, so I'm gonna pause this video and get back to you once it's done. Okay, perfect. Now our application is built and ready to be deployed on the internet. To use Netlify, we'll have to first connect ourselves to it. So I'm gonna connect to Netlify. So it's Netlify login. This will automatically open the browser to ask for my permission to authorize the application. So I'm gonna authorize it. And that's it. Now we're logged in our account. It's perfect. So now I'm inside my application. I'll have to run this command Netlify deploy. This folder isn't linked to any site yet, so I'm gonna create and configure a new site. So once you're asked to create a new site, you asked about your team, your team, so I'm gonna select my team. And here I'm gonna choose an optional site name for our application. Otherwise, Netlify will provide you with some random names, so I'm gonna pick Cartoonify. And that's it. Now we're almost done. You'll have to specify the publish directory. So it's the build folder. And now Netlify will build a preview of our application on a draft URL. So basically we now have a draft URL. We can click on it and you can preview our application. This is very handy because imagine, for example, that you have multiple branches of your application and each branch is a specific feature. So if you want to show your client these specific new functionalities, you can deploy draft links and this is very handy for this purpose. But now, if you're happy with our modification, we can deploy to production so that we can have a clean URL to share to anybody. So to do this, we have to add the option prod and basically this will deploy our application. Okay, so yes. Okay, so now our website is live and you can check it directly on this link. You see now in less than 30 seconds we have deployed our application. It's fully functioning. If I pick, for example, another style, I can see that this service communicate with my other service that is hosted on AWS. And as you can see, the URL is also secure, which is another great functionality in the feature of Netlify. So it's perfect for us. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video series as much as I did. If you found this content useful, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the thumbs up button of this video. If you have any other project ideas on your own and you'd like to start them but don't have the right skills to do it, 
please consider giving a comment in the comment section below. I'll look into them and if I have enough bandwidth on my side, I can start another video series on it. So thank you guys for watching again and hope to see you in next videos.